darling, this little arrangement of ours has been going on for quite some time. Yet I still feel as if I know absolutely nothing about you. What is it that you're keeping from me? And why do you feel the need to hide it? Oh, don't be daft. You know exactly what I'm referring to. Whenever I ask you a question about your past, you always redirect my attention to something else. You dodge the question, change the subject, or you simply walk away. What is it that you're keeping from me? What is so horrific about your past that you feel the need to hide it? And why on earth don't you trust me enough with your secrets? Haven't I proven trustworthy enough? After all, you've been using me as your energy source for quite a while, and I've yet to mention you to anyone who might try to turn you in. What is it then? If it isn't because you don't trust me, What's keeping you from telling me about yourself? <sighs> Very well then, keep your secrets. <sighs> yes, yes, I understand. Everyone has their own personal matters that they keep to themselves. Oh, no matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some rather boring paperwork that I must deal with. You'll be patient and wait for me, though, darling, yes? Oh, very good. I'll see you in a little while. Ugh. How irritating. Just as I'm getting to know her better, I have more work to do. I suppose this is the consequence I must suffer through in order to spend so much time with her during the day. Oh, love is funny like that. You have to pay dearly for it, and in order to do so, you have to sacrifice things. Sometimes even the love that you're striving for. Oh, no matter though. At least once I'm finished, I get to go back to her. Ugh. More reports. How delightful. Oh, let's see. A signature here. A signature there. Ugh. Detailed eyewitness accounts. Ugh. All right. Best to start at the beginning of the case. Damn it all. I spilled ink everywhere. Oh. Wait a moment. This rather resembles a human. This little blot of ink actually looks like a person. Hmm. Well, since this paper is obviously ruined, I guess there's no point in letting it go to waste. Perhaps if I add on to this accidental piece of art, I can get more use out of it. Hmm. But how to improve it? Oh. She has yet to show me her demon form. Perhaps I can take a wild guess and 
try to figure out what she looks like. <laughs> oh, this is going to be rather amusing. Uh, let's see. What does a demon of her kind even look like? I would imagine that her form would remain the same. After all, her species must be extremely alluring in order to feed. Um, dear, dear me. I've never seen Bassie's demon form, so I don't know how the human forms differ from the demon forms. Oh, this is difficult. Uh, maybe... I would imagine that demons would have wings, since they're believed to be between heaven and earth, not necessarily hell. After all, they are still quite powerful and they deserve respect. So let's give her some wings. Oh, but what would they look like? Would they be bat wings? Bird wings? Butterfly wings? Oh, how ridiculous. Uh, let's try this. Now that doesn't look half bad, actually. Hmm. And I would assume her eyes would remain the same. They are quite beautiful, after all. Oh, and her lips, definitely. So soft and smooth especially when captured in a kiss. <laughs> I'm getting all worked up just thinking about her. Dear, dear me, this simply won't do. Uh, what else? Oh, it is so difficult to replicate someone so captivating with a mere tool of humans such as a quill. Hmm... Oh, darling, what are you doing here? Oh, yes, yes, I'm fine, perfectly fine. Did you need something from me, darling? Oh, um, that's, that's nothing, just a doodle I'm making out of some spilled ink, nothing more. Uh, yes, I was trying to figure out what your demon form looked like, and I thought that I might illustrate what I imagined. Uh, how does it look so far? Really? It's... It's accurate so far? Well, I guess I'm quite lucky, aren't I? Oh, as if that wasn't obvious from the beginning. After all, I have you. And that makes me the luckiest woman in the world. <laughs> oh, are you sure? You won't be uncomfortable just standing and watching over my shoulder? Uh, very well, then. I shall continue. Um, do demons have tails? They're often depicted as beings with horns, wings, and tails, and large fangs, and pitch black eyes. How accurate is all of that? Oh. All right, then. No tail. Uh, I would imagine that your hair color and length would be the same, yes? All right, but what's 
die or would you wear it in, in your demon form? Uh, like this? Oh, a bit more here. Oh. I'm no professional artist, but I do quite like how I drew this hairstyle for you. I can't imagine how spectacular it looks in real life. You'll have to show me sometime, darling. <laughs> All right, and clothing. Oh, this is going to be a difficult one. I don't want to offend you by drawing anything explicit, but, well, given the nature of your demonic subspecies, it would make sense to see you in something a little less modest. All right, if you say so. Uh, maybe... Oh, what am I doing wrong? Oh, dear, dear me. Uh, maybe... this? <laughs> wrong still? You know what? Why don't you just do it? Show me what you normally wear in your demon form. Go on. Uh, that's not what I meant. Although, goodness, darling, you look. you're beautiful. You're always beautiful, of course, but now it's a different kind of beautiful. Your beauty, it almost frightens me. I must admit I'm quite intimidated when you're in your demon form. <laughs> Why were you hiding this from me for so long, darling? Shy? You? Oh, darling. That's a complete surprise for you to say. Oh, really? It's just because we're so close. Darling, that should mean that you're less shy around me. We're close, so you know I won't judge you. I might offer you a few fashion tips, but I would never judge you. Really, I promise. Oh dear, it seems I've gotten terribly distracted. Oh well, I suppose those reports can always be finished tomorrow. Wouldn't you agree, darling? Those reports aren't nearly as important as spending time with you. Why don't we head home and... We can just spend some quality time together. How does that sound? <laughs> I knew you would agree. Come now, darling. Let's get going. I love you so much. Never forget that. No matter what. If you think I'll judge you, just remember that I love you.
and nothing will ever be able to change that.